so we're following up from Friday's video. We're going to give this artificial crab uh, idea another go, and then we're going to do a little more creative rigging. As opposed to jigging them as it is, let's try a little knocker rig. I'm going to go with a knocker rig over a Carolina rig because I'll be fishing directly over some structure. And uh, my, my experience with Carolina rigs on real heavy structure equals snags, so I'm going to try to avoid that. Um, maybe take a crank up off the bottom, slowly twitch it, uh, bounce it. Uh, we'll experiment to see uh, what does it. The other option is obviously to go with what would be most logical in my opinion, a uh, drop shot rig. Uh, here's just another example of what a drop shot rig would look like, uh, kind of like a high-low bucktail rig for fluke. Flounder. I've got real bait with me too. I'm not saying we're going to compare. We're going to just go out there with the intent of catching fish and we will give this another go. I think with a couple of creative ways to fish this, we should have something. So low in 10 to 15 today. I don't think I'm keeping any fish, but uh, if I do keep fish, it's cool enough. I don't really need to get them on ice on the cooler with dire emergency. So we're all good. Now, if you think you got a pretty good chance of getting up the surf launch, pack everything away. But uh, this ain't bad. Got this one set here and we're good to go. There we go. All right, let's roll, guys. All right, check that out. Coldest water. Picked up one of these water bottles. Rated to keep my water cold for 25 hours. Insulated water bottle, pretty cool. Uh, I've got some crabs with me, I've got jigs. Uh, I've got some stuff we'll, we'll try to play around a little bit today. We'll try to catch a couple different fish. Would love to just get one king out here finally. I've been very unsuccessful on the king mackerel hunt. Order 72, 71 and a half. So uh, shouldn't be much shark activity. I think we're clear on those. So maybe we can maybe we can luck into one. I'd be happy with a big Spanish right about now. We haven't seen too many of those either. So let's see what happens. Man. here. Any little bite marks? No, they're pretty quiet. Let me chunk some baits. Not good. Really not good. It's not a good sign how my day might go right here. I'm gonna go with half a crab. Let's see. Let's see if we can catch anything interesting, man. Big one. Solid fish. I'm gonna go with the bigger crab on the knocker rig here, because uh looks like there is a decent amount of these reds around, so uh let's try that man. We had small black sea bass, you know, that big. Here we go. Hit it on the drop. Oh yeah. First fish on the chase baits. Knock on it. Let's see what it is. 
Totally red. Boy, I'm glad that worked. Hey, look at that. Look at small victories. Small victories. On the chase baits. How cool is that? That's my first jigged ocean black drum from here. That was cold. First jigged black drum on that guy. He dropped it to the bottom and he was on there. That was cool. I like it. It's cool. Real cool. Alright, so here's your midday update. We've caught one fish on the artificial crab that was not, you know, junk, which was a black drum, which is cool. Uh, that's a sign of, you know, the black drum actually might not sound like much. The black drum are kind of tricky to catch here on artificial with any consistency. So still a good sign. And overall on top of that, it hasn't been like an insane bite. You know, I caught some reds on crab, but everyone I'm talking to, it's a straight up bait bite today. There is not much of a jig bite. Probably has to do with this pressure system, etc. cetera. Uh, that being said, it's starting to get nicer out now. I'm tr I've been trolling this, this Macahu forever, trying to get a king. I'm on hour one and change right now. Frozen cigar minnows. I mean, you name it. Don't got to be big. You just got to be one, you know. But uh, might not be in the cards. So instead, we're gonna get back uh, a couple other spots we can jig and maybe catch something good. So that's the plan. So here we go. Try it again. Suck. It's there. Got a mat on. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Artificial crab. Hey man, these black drum like it. That's kind of cool. The one on the arty crabs, huh? All right, second fish on the artificial crab. We'll take it. And you could probably, if you really want to spice it up, what I could probably do is just tight, clip off real small ligaments from these, uh, a lot of these pieces of crab. Like the, see like that little meat there? And just put them on there for a little little scent. They, they, they hit this crab very strange. I think that was a drum that hit it too, like a black drum. It's a very strange hit. It's bouncing it slow. That's how I was working it. Just a little bounce here and there. Maybe a double tap. They're hitting it. And it could be a lot of small fish here too. It's very possible. But it's good either way. I think the knocker rig definitely uh, outdoes the um, drop shot rig for whatever reason. I guess maybe the hook placement, but we could try it again. Mm. Oh, that was cool. Oh, we got one. We know what that is. Works uh, decent on the drum. Uh, we ended up with two black drum and one fish I'm hooked up to right now. We're going with redfish. Some of the red. Uh, black drum tends to be kind of picky out here on the ocean. So, uh, getting uh, one of those is a little more surprising. But, it's cool. I'm not affiliated with this company in any way. It's just uh, kind of thinking about how we're going to do some winter fishing, honestly. Not a big one, but uh, that would be the third fish we've caught on one of these uh, chase baits crabs. So. so we learned a little bit of a different way how to fish artificial crab lures out here. I think we figured out potentially a pretty effective way. Honestly, I would never ever recommend saying that this is gonna outfish 
natural crabs on, on reefs. But as a backup or in certain situations, uh, this ain't a bad uh, thing to carry around in my opinion. This will probably end up in the arsenal, especially for a lot of my winter fishing. Uh, the other thing you can do probably, which just occurred to me as I was sitting out here looking at all the crab chunks, you can get some like just random ligaments, right? I see like I got like a little piece right here off the crab and you can, you know, probably just see something like that. It's probably gonna work out. So well, let's keep fishing a little longer before sun goes down. Learning some stuff. I like learning. I like, you know, doing a couple different things, so I'm liking it. Well, I'm wrapping it up. Uh, I'm gonna just catch a couple more fish on the, the real crabs. So the knocker rig seems to be the way to go. Um, the crab's fairly durable. Yeah, claws are a little beat up, a couple of legs. But overall, yeah, I can still definitely get another use or two out of him. Listen, it's just another trick in the playbook, you know? Jigged it on some light rocks. Uh, that worked out. Uh, we caught fish on it, so definitely figured something out. I had a feeling there was, there, was a, there was going to be a way to catch fish on these guys. Just had to experiment a little bit with the way to do it. And um, yeah, uh, like I said earlier too, even though black drums seem kind of, you know, trivial, catching them on artificial, especially out in the ocean, doesn't happen too often around here. Here and there it does. But um, to get two is already a good sign, so uh, learned a couple of things, you know. All right, that's a red fish right there. Structure, but that's definitely red. There's something on there. Don't know what it is. Play red, huh? All right, it's another red run. Back to the natural baits, and there you go. It's really the majority of the fish that you're gonna find out here this time of year, I guess. Redfish. Mostly like 36 to, you know, low 40 inch, mid to low 40s. Occasional 45 inch could pop up out here. But average fish is probably about this size. 39 inches or so. I think this is soon that, like last year, there's just gonna be small black drum everywhere here. Yeah. If it's gonna be like last year. There he is. Redfish, I think. I'd like to finally get a big black drum out here. I really would. They definitely are. Jesus, this is a big fish. He ain't, he ain't small. First one that's actually dragging me anywhere. I don't know. I think so. He's with me. This one is different. This isn't a red. This one's not a red. Oh God, I hope not. This one might be that shit though. Yep, I think it's something f***ed up. It's 
still counts in my book. I'm from New York. <laughs> oh, this one's got some head shake now. I don't know. I don't think it's a ray. Gave me that a lot of come up just now. She started budging out of nowhere on me. <laughs> Holy guacamole. Bow black drum. Yep. 30 pounder. Uh, it's pretty decent. It's my biggest one out of the ocean around these parts. Doubled up. <laughs> that won't work. There we go. Oh, mama. 25, 30, yeah. It's still the biggest one I ever caught out here. You got a red? What's that? What's that? Yeah, it's black drum. I got him hooked so good too, and I was like just afraid of losing him just now. You got a drip black drum or red? This thing did a lot of more. That's a real black drum, actually. Yeah, that's a real black drum. <laughs> <laughs> one of the eaters right there. No. Chaos. He's fighting it so ours off. <laughs> it's one one kayak with him. Man, this one's taking me backwards, man. This is fed up. This is what striper fishing used to be like up north. Yeah, I mean, used to be. I'm talking a decade ago. Digging for them? Yeah, we're just, yeah, stuff like that. We're live, live bait fishing for them. It's crazy how light the hit can be, though. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> it's just a little thump, and then he's on. Mass, mass exodus of red drum. This is it right here. Where the sheep head. Crazy shit, man. This is crazy. Drum fishing in North Carolina is freaking nuts when it's good. I mean. Using little half ounce jigs and scraps of crab. Look at those crushers back there. I mean, this is just getting crazy. This is a nice one, actually. Really nice fish. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is probably the best redfish bite I've ever been on uh, since moving to North Carolina. Granted, it's mostly bait, but I mean, I think we're over 30 fish combined between the three of us, probably. I mean, it's just, you can't do anything wrong right now. Some, some big fish now. That's a big one. Mid-40s on this one, probably. Closer to that range, definitely. That's a real big drum.
45, somewhere around there. Well guys, sun's headed low. That's as good of a day as you can ask for here in uh, southeastern North Carolina. And no November fire fishing, man. It was awesome to catch. That's my first big black drum out of the ocean here. Uh, hooked a lot. Landed one in the Cape Fear River, probably like 50, 60. Uh, but that was my first one out of the ocean. Trolling home at uh, Cigar Minnow Macahoo combo. Uh, the kings with the detail, I'm still uncertain what I'm doing wrong. I just don't think there's that many around. Didn't see boats with much more sophisticated setups than me catch any. Really did not see a sign of one. So sometimes these things are inconsistent, right? Other than that, uh, there's affiliate links in the video's description what we used. Um, really an awesome day of fishing. And my final takeaway, I think the knocker rig, uh, I don't know, I had some good hits on the not, the um, on the drop shot crab like this. I did have some pretty good hits on it, but I missed them all. Maybe the way the hook was positioned on the drop shot rig versus the, the knocker rig, just the way the, the jig works. I'm sure there's a couple other ideas and ways you can, you know, rig these crabs. Uh, it's a jig. Obviously, the real bait is kind of catch more fish, but you never know when you need backup or a different option. So that's all. All right, guys. If we hook something on the way in, turn on the camera. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys very soon. I hope you enjoyed. That it was a great day.